A very good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today, the 1st of June, Monday, we celebrate the feast of Mary, Mother of the Church. We just celebrated the feast of the Pentecost. And I think uh, Mother Mary deserves this particular title as the Mother of the Church because when the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles, she too was with them at the very beginning of the Church, at the birth of the Church. So she is the Mother of the Church. That means she is the mother of the whole faithful, whether lay or religious or clergy. She is the mother of whole faithful and our mother too. Coming back to the uh, gospel of the day, uh, gospel of uh, Mark chapter 12, uh, verses from 1 to 12. We are presented uh, with the parable of the vineyard tenants. Uh, according to the Gospel of Mark, in a way, uh, the author uh, wants to show all of us, uh, oh, he wants to give a kind of a preview of the ministry of Jesus uh, and what will happen at the end, uh, uh, when uh, Jesus uh, was uh, uh, killed uh, by the, uh, uh, the chief priests. So in a way, Jesus uh, used to talk to uh, these uh, chief priests and the uh, scribes and uh, elders uh, by using this uh, uh, parable. And now, uh, uh, this parable is uh, the story of God and his uh, uh, people. And uh, when we just uh, take certain figures which we find in this parable, for example, our uh, vineyard, vineyard is the people of God. And in Isaiah chapter 5 verse 2 we find our uh, vineyard is referred as people of God, uh, the owner. Own is God. Uh, the fruit of the vineyard is faith, faithfulness. Uh, what people of God uh, uh, owe to God. Uh, servants are the prophets of which God sent to the people of Israel time to time. Uh, the tenants are the leaders of the church. Uh, uh, finally, a beloved son is Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we know the story of this uh, parable and uh, what happened. Uh, but what is important for us to understand the real context in which Jesus was uh, 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 talking to them? Because uh, this really shows uh, God's amazing uh, uh, patience allow uh, uh, with his chosen uh, people of uh, uh, Israel. And uh, at the very outset of this gospel, we see that uh, uh, Jesus says, uh, a man planted a vineyard and uh, set a hedge around it and dug a pit for the wind, uh, wine press and uh, uh, built a tower. Why do you want to build a tower? Because the surrounding is not safe. That's why he built a, a, a tower around the uh, a vineyard. So my dear brothers and sisters, uh, when we look at uh, the world today, we see it so uh, vicious, wicked and sinful. And time and again, we uh, reflect on this sinful uh, structure that we live in. So, 
uh, at the same time god out of his mercy and love he keeps on sending people time to time and uh, remind us that we have to turn back we have to listen uh, to those prophets and we have to change our uh, way of living and come back to him but at the same time he warns if we do not turn back that's exactly what happened to jerusalem because the jerusalem temple was destroyed in 70 ad maybe when we look at the world right now with this global black pandemic and with other natural disasters other calamities one tends to feel maybe it's a wake up call once again for all of us to come back to god maybe listen to the word of god and at the same time he he may be uh, just pruning all of us when we just read the signs of the time i think it's time for us to realize this fact because this is what these elders the chief priests did during the time of jesus because jesus was a kind of a threat jesus was a kind of a challenge Jesus was a, a, a kind of a sign of contradiction. And then they simply got rid of him. Maybe how we, do we look at the people who bring uh, the good news to us today? And as Jesus uh, said in the gospel, the stone which was re- rejected by the people has now become the cornerstone so my dear brothers and sisters i strongly believe god breaks us in order to make us so time and again he reminds all of us that we have to reflect on our says and we have to take a good stock of our conscience and also we need to come back and just listen to his word so let us pray during this day and very especially let us pray that mother mary mother of the church may all lays intercede on our behalf that we will always be faithful to god who loves us and that we will be a real authentic catholics amen may god bless you all